the end of our Gold Duke of Edinburgh expedition, and this is what happened in it. On the Monday we were to meet at Chester Le Street at 2.30. We had been talking about what we think we would be doing on the exped, and talking about our kit. This was one of Tinkler's boots. We had talked about having a mascot on the practice and as such Tinkler had ordered some. We met at the car park and got off on our way to Wooler. She ain't got no money in the bank. At Wooler we set up our tents and went over our route cards with our supervisor. We went to bed in our tents and woke up for the next day. <laughs> we woke up and it was a nice day. We then spent the long 20k day on the walk to get to the campsite. We were quite tired throughout the day so didn't get too many pictures. When we got to the campsite, it was filled with midges and flying ants. These are my ankles after taking my boots off for two minutes. It wasn't the best of nights but we managed to get through it by shouting rude things at each other through the tents. Okay. We woke up on the Wednesday at 6.15 so that we could get away in the morning before the midges woke up. The Acliff tent wasn't best pleased at this, and grumbled about it for the rest of the morning. The Wednesday was an easier 15k, and massively improved our morale having a shorter route. We could afford to take lots of breaks as we were basically running through the day. We were all very tired at the end, but this campsite was much better as there were no midges, no ants, and no thoughts. We even mamang to have a candle lit vigil for our first mascot who sadly perished from scurvy on the Monday. Yuck, 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 yuck. We woke up on Thursday hoping for some relief as some of our group me had caught a lot of the sun the past two days and you could only see about two foot in front of you with fog. It was only a 10k day and we were thoroughly looking forward to the campsite. However the campsite on the last night was an island in between rivers and the ground was covered in sheep shit. We didn't talk much that night and stayed in our tents, again shouting abuse and singing to each other. A favorite of Hasty was Dancing on My Own by Callum Scott. I'm in the corner, watching you kiss her, oh, oh, oh. The whistles go, it was the final day and we'd planned to sleep in, but the other team at our site woke us up at 6 so we had to leave earlier than planned. We were feeling ready to get home and so did everything at double speed, and did the 14k walk I about 3 hours. We fished at a pub and had a good time speaking to the wing commander in our assessor, and were really glad to be coming back on the bus.